If you've been struggling to have a healthy fermentation with your seltzer, then this is the video for you. Today we are going to be reviewing White Labs Seltzer Max Nutrient. It is designed specifically for seltzers with a blend of yeast nutrients and dimonium phosphate. We're going to try it out and see how it works. This is the container we got. We got the two kilogram size. Uh, they recommend a dosage rate of 150 grams per barrel if your starting gravity is under 10 degrees Play-Doh, which ours is right at that point. So we're going to try 150 grams per barrel, which equates for us to about 1,050 grams in total. Looking in here, you can see the white crystals are the dimonium phosphate and the yellow powder is that yeast nutrient. Uh, its directions say that we add it with the sugar at the start of the boil. So right now we are filling up our boil kettle to the right volume and I will be back when it's time to add these in. In addition to this yeast nutrient, I'm also adding a small amount of calcium chloride and gypsum to get the water profile where I want to because I'm using a reverse osmosis filtration system. So I don't want to be starting with nothing. I want a little bit of salts to taste. I'm also adding a small amount of 10% diluted phosphoric acid. This will draw that pH to about 5.2, which is exactly where I want it, or the yeast will not be very happy with me. White Labs suggests using a liquid yeast with their Seltzer Max. We are going with Champagne Yeast WLP715. Uh, we used this on our last batch, so I will be able to give you a comparison between our last fermentation and this fermentation with Seltzer Max. We just got to boiling, so I'm going to dump in this yeast nutrient and stir it in as we pour it. We're up to boiling, so we're going to boil this for 15 minutes to pasteurize it, and then we're going to go through knockout. This is our post-boil gravity. The nutrient did not seem to add any color to it, which is good. And we are right where we wanted to, if I can get this to zoom in, at about 1038. So we will pitch the yeast and then see how this goes. We knocked the seltzer out to 68 degrees. We will let this free rise up to 71 degrees to ferment. We will hold it there, hopefully quickly, until it is done, and then we will cold crash it, uh, carbon it to about three volumes, and then at that point, I will be back to compare taste and flavor. We are two days into fermentation, and you can see that it is a very healthy fermentation with all that CO2 being released. This is the gravity two days into fermentation, 1024, and this is a whole week faster than it was with our previous nutrient mix. We are five days into fermentation and we have already dropped down to 1010. There's still plenty of yeast in suspension and the fermentation is still going strong. We are exactly one week into fermentation and we are just about all the way down to 1.000. This is a week and a half faster than without the Nutramax. This is what we ended up with. It is crystal clear. I know it doesn't necessarily look like that. We've got some condensation on there. But you can see all those bubbles from the three volumes of carbonation. This took us only 12 days from pitching the yeast to carbonating and getting on tap. So it took two weeks less than our previous uh, attempts for the smell, very neutral. There's nothing in the, t in the smell for the taste. Clean, crisp, and dry. There is nothing going on there. It is a perfect neutral base. If you are having a hard time getting a healthy fermentation, I highly recommend trying White Labs Seltzer Max Nutrient.